I choose musical. It's been done now in 30 different high schools, so it's the opinion of about 99% of the people who have viewed it so far, that it is an absolutely workable way to engage young people in a dialogue. In other words, find out what's going on inside and give an opportunity for young people to express uh, their hopes and their fears, their uh, aspirations, their everything. And that's difficult in a school situation. So I Choose uh, has a, a basically a three-pronged approach. Um, there's an incredible exhibit that comes into the school prior to the musical being done. And going all the way back to the founders of ICAP and the writings of Daisaku Ikeda or the examples of Rosa Parks or uh, Martin Luther King or Mahatma Gandhi who says you become the change you want to see. It's great artwork, it's well constructed, it's inspirational from all aspects of history. Uh, once people realize that they are empowered, that what they do does make a difference, the next aspect, it's a very well written musical. It's written by you know very young people. It's performed by young people from the area that the school is at. And it's for the people in those school systems. And within a very short period of time, maybe 20 minutes, uh, both songs and then a simulated classroom situation, uh, people are encouraged that saying what they feel will be listened to. In the Part of what I like about the construction of the, of the mini musical of I Choose um, is the center portion which is the sort of pretend classroom situation. Um, and the reason I like it is it changes according to the cast members in the different areas that, that new casts are in, involved in the show because the stories that they tell, their life story within the, the context of the musical are truly their life stories. These young people have experienced these brushes with violence, um, thoughts and, and attempts of suicide, um, stopping violence or, or being the victims of severe violence, both within relationships or verbal abuse. You know, I, I really used to hate myself. People made fun of me because I'm skinny, I'm a vegan, I'm just different. I felt very much alone, um, so much so that I tried to kill myself. And um, I ended up in a psychiatric ward observatory room with padded walls, bed bolted to the floor, camera on the ceilings. And as I looked around, I saw blood on the window from people who had been punching it so long that their skin started to break. Mm. And um, hair pulled out on the ground. Just this really violent, negative energy. And I decided that from that moment on, I was going to dedicate the rest of my life to making sure, if at all possible, I had any power to do so, I would make sure no one ever felt that way again. All I've ever wanted is to be loved, and I thought having a boyfriend would make me feel better. And so um, I met this guy that was amazing, and I thought he loved me and respected me, and he listened to me, and then that all changed really quickly. We started fighting about everything, every little thing, and it just got so bad to the point that one night he grabbed my arms, grabbed me by the arms and threw me against the wall. And in that moment, like I just realized I can't take this anymore. And you know, I never told you guys this before, but that's why I got these tattoos because he left such bad bruises on my arms that I would never ever let anyone do that to me or disrespect me like that again. And then the capper is, uh, the minute the lights go down and they come back up, those performers sit on the stage and engage the audience in conversation. And what we hope is once I Choose wraps up its music and gets on the bus and goes to the next school, the students in that school are now used to talking. And hopefully even the teachers are used to listening in a, in a way that might be a little bit different than before. Almost 30% of 
the students in the American school system are involved in a violent situation of either a target of bullying or being a bully, that's 5.7 million young people. But the real joyful aspect of something like I choose, and I, I want to uh, accentuate the joyful aspect of it because you can get very depressed by seeing statistics and you can get very depressed by, by the potential for the negative all the time. But the actual positive effects of iTunes and the 30 schools that we've been in has been undeniable. It's time we realize and stop generalizing. A woman's not a hoe just because they say so in a rap song. Everybody want to sing along. Now thinking about the meaning and how it's demeaning. Not only the women but to everybody else too. Brothers, it's the same blood. We're in the same crew. Rise up, let the light shine on through. Share it with the world, show them what we're here to do. I'm just like you, not that different I just want you to I just want you to respect me Because if they think it's being listened to, then they will talk. And if they talk, they will choose. They will find the choice opens up to them as to what they want to do, how they want to pursue any action in their life. And uh, dialogue and respect for other people will lead them in a much more peaceful way. Bruises, rude comments, and passive aggression, these are just some of the symptoms associated with bullying. News reporter Beth Barnesworth takes us out to a powerful performance highlighting real-life traumas of this abusive treatment. He is my father, my best friend, my brother. I Choose is the name of this nine-member team from the International Committee of Artists for Peace. The group blended song and dance, role-playing, and personal testimonials during their performance at Bishop Diego High School. This woman recalled the horror of finding her mentally challenged brother being beaten by a group of kids. Another performer talked openly about an overdose attempt. And the group highlights three key categories of bullying. Physical, verbal, and the lesser known passive violence, which includes spreading rumors, belittling, and choosing not to do something or intervene. I really enjoyed it. I thought they did, had a great presentation. I was really impressed. I mean, the show just got everyone excited, and it was just like so engaging the way everyone was just moving across the stage. I choose, uh, it shows kids that they always have a choice in life, and everything you do comes with choices, no matter what. Some of the students were going to fight, and these were actually some of our students who you know, have police records, who are very hard to stop, uh, you know, to have a fight and to do dialogue with. And right after the production, they went out and they were going to fight. And one of the students, one of the ones that was a more difficult student, actually said, well, why don't we talk about this? Before I choose came to Molokai High School, we had two to three daily fights. It was really a very critical situation. Two months after I choose came to Molokai High School, we had no fights. It was very clear what the result was. I think that especially in today's age where uh, most of our messages are sent through the arts, our young people, those the most who are vulnerable to violence, could communicate through the arts. And having these young men and women through the arts send a message of victory over violence was one that I think was very effective. In my 33 years at Eastside High School, this was one of the most outstanding performances. The message was clear, the students were engaged, the students were on the edge of their seats, they were so excited, and a very professional presentation. It even brought tears to my eyes. Many times they kept wiping a tear from my right eye because anytime you hear a human being's story and you hear what they had to go through to get where they are, it has value. I truly hope y'all enjoyed the show. It's consciousness, awareness, mind state of flow. I hope y'all ready, cause here we go. I choose about to let the people know. It's the one up to me now. Anymore. You're gonna, gonna, gonna see how. Sure. It's stand up, up and take now. the floor.